the Tabantha region, a place that many Breath of the Wild players have overlooked. However, I believe that there is something important that occurred here a long time ago. So, allow me to explain the secrets of the Tabantha region. When you first look at the map of this region, it appears similar to some of the other regions you have visited before. Large structures carved out of stone litter the path. A tower with a map piece and monsters are all part of the job as the hero of Hyrule. But something isn't right about this place, specifically the tower. Malice covers the ground and even blocks your path to the top. Although the malice is a mild annoyance at best, it has a massive story implication. When the Great Calamity was unleashed upon Hyrule, Ganon used his malice not only to take over the Guardians, but also block strategic locations. The most famous of these locations is the Akala Citadel. Ganon used his malice to put the stronghold under siege. So this begs the question, why is there malice at Tabantha Tower? Was it a battle? Or was it something worse? First, let's rule out our options. It can't be Link, Zelda, or the Sheikah, as they were positioned in the southeast fighting the Guardians. Neither can it be the Hylian forces, because they fled to the villages of Ateno and Lurland. The only race close enough to the Tabantha Tower was the Rito. Could this be the place where the Rito took their stand against the Guardians? I doubt it, but it isn't out of the realm of possibility. Although the place where the Rito fought Ganon sounds cool, there are several problems with this theory. First, the Rito live in a secluded area. The natural defenses of the Tabantha Canyon and the cold temperatures of the Heba region cannot be understated. There is a reason why we don't see Guardians up there in the mountains. The cold temperatures probably messed up with the Guardians' tech. If it wasn't a fight between the Rito and Ganon's forces, what could it have been? To truly understand this theory, one must understand the story of 10,000 years ago told by Impa. So here is the short version. Calamity Ganon continued to plague Hyrule, so the Sheikah built machines to counter Calamity Ganon. Now, 10,000 years is a very long time, and this shows in the game as well as in the lore. Civilizations rose and fell. One of these civilizations was the Zonai. They conquered much of the land of Hyrule and were at odds with the Hylians. You can still see the remains of this great war between these two races today. The Zonai constructed many great pillars throughout the land of Hyrule, marking where they conquered. This is true for all but one place, the Tabantha region. Imagine, for a moment, that you are a Hylian fighting in the war against the Zonai. You had to constantly retreat because of the tribe's vicious attacks. You have to retreat all the way back to the Hylian capital, when Calamity Ganon is unleashed, decimating both Hylian and Zonai alike. All seems lost, until the hero, princess, and Sheikah technology seal away Ganon. In the aftermath, the Zonai lost so much territory and people that they eventually die out, and the Hylians lost their capital city, also known as the place where Tabantha Tower now stands. This would explain the malice that surrounds the tower today. Ganon put the place under siege, just like what he did with Akala Citadel, but failed. In the modern day, the malice would go underground because Ganon was dormant, but once he resurfaced, 
the malice around the tower resurfaced as well. Personally, this is what I think. If you like this video and you want to see more of them, subscribe so you never miss an upload. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Later.